when you want a super accurate diagnostic wax up you need really accurate impressions so here's a few tips on that this patient is a gagger so we're going to put little acupuncture needles just in front of her ear to help suppress that now we're using an optrogate this will hold the lips out of the way and it will also retract the cheek so that we can keep the back teeth dry without using cotton rolls this will allow us to get much better impression of the, of the flange area the tray is sized, we size with one tray and then we put in disinfectant and paint adhesive on another tray. Now the crucial part to getting great impressions is no bubbles, compression and dry teeth. So to get no bubbles we need to hold the tray at 90 degrees to the nozzle and fill it in one continuous single uh, pour. Now if you hold the nozzle at 90 degrees the silicon will build up and then it will start to flow out and it will flow ahead of the nozzle so that it fills the tray completely to that height. And when you get the light body, you do the same thing. You hold the light body at 90 degrees to the tray and let it squeeze and spread out. If you start waving the nozzle about, you'll get bubbles which will then uh, affect the teeth. Now, while the first assistant is filling the tray, you're drying the teeth with air and suction and this is crucial for getting bubble free impressions and getting great impressions of your gingival margins. Now you start injecting as the tray is half full otherwise the warmth of the mouth will start to make it set ahead of time. So inject all the way down into all those fissures up to the back teeth, lots of light body. The light body will get displaced, there won't be much left but you need a lot to capture all those fine details. The tray is pressed down because it's non-perforated, it takes a fair bit of pressure and you can see here the amazing detail, the pressure, the dryness and the lack of bubbles has allowed the silicon to, to get very crisply into the gingival margins. Um, there's a little bubble there on the flange but that doesn't concern us for this type of impression. You'll notice even on the distal of the molars we've got crisp uh, margins there, there's no burn through on the front part of the tray, there's, the tray's not touching the teeth. Um, and so for a technician to wax around these margins would be incredibly easy because it's just so clear exactly where they are and your temporaries would fit so much better. Thank you very much and please share.